clients describe our work as unique. We try really hard to make sure every home looks different from the previous home. With Care Adam Interiors, you're always gonna see pattern, plays off texture. When we accessorize, we tend to under accessorize and use overscaled items. We love to play with scale. We think it adds interest to an interior, but we do like to simplify our accessories and we love good art. My name is Kara Adam with Kara Adam Interiors. I'm the principal and founder of Kara Adam Interiors. We are based in Dallas, Texas. We do projects all over the United States. Today we're in Dallas, Texas. We are in a project that we worked on from the ground up. They're a family with three small children, two big dogs, and they didn't want anything too intimidating. We added unique, sometimes contemporary little pieces and kind of pushed the envelope, which I think adds the interest. This house was specifically designed to entertain. When you come in, you can feel the flow. It's a very large foyer that bleeds into a great room in the back. For the entry, we wanted something larger. We wanted a large space. When people came in, we didn't want it to feel cramped, but we also wanted there to be a cozy side. And so by adding the paneling to the walls, we were able to warm up this foyer. We wanted a marble floor. We went back and forth on what to do here. We ended up with a charcoal and white marble mix. We wanted there to be a little seating moment. And actually people do sit on this little settee that we had custom made for the space during parties. Lastly, we definitely wanted to highlight the art collection to the second level and we have art pieces up there as well. The staircase is one of my favorite elements in the house. We wanted to mix brass and bronze it gives a little bit of a contemporary touch. And then we added this custom Stark runner, probably one of our favorite runners we've ever done. So the client wanted a really traditional feel for this house. We have um, matching arches on both sides of the foyer, one going to the formal living room and one going to the dining room. We love, love, love molding. We love paneling. It's a great way to add layers to a home so it feels like it's been there longer, it's not so new. We mocked up tons of molding samples before we came up with what we ended up doing. We did a plaster ceiling and then added additional molding and have our can lights within the molding. And then once you come into the dining room, you see this beautiful Fromental wallpaper and everything looks fabulous when you put it on this wall. Like all the art looks great and it really complements everything in the room. We worked with the architect and designed a completely custom mantle here, which I think could not look any better in this space. And it balances the scales just right. Um, one unique feature of this room is this was their original sideboard. We have very few original pieces from their first house before this house, but this is one of them. And I think it's really fun to incorporate pieces that clients owned before in their new homes. This is the living room. It's balanced off the dining room on the other side of the foyer. And what's so unique about the living room is they wanted spaces that they could enjoy if it was just she and her husband sitting in here or if it was a larger group. So we've designed two seating areas, one on this side and one also facing the fireplace. They are connected by a double sofa. The sofa is just one big sofa that we had custom designed and then we had to do custom designed side tables with brass edging that are a little bit longer and deeper so they're the depth almost of two sofas. In this room we took the same plaster that we have in the dining room ceiling and we did all the walls in that plaster. Again the same fireplace you see in the dining room. Again this is all balancing out a house that has that traditional feel and when you do traditional homes you see a lot of balance like this people come into our homes and they're like, oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that. We try really hard to give each person a look that is conducive to what they're asking for, but also unique and kind of pushes the envelope a little. As you walk through this house, you can tell that art plays a very big role um, in all the interior spaces. And with all of our projects, we like to bring an art consultant to the table. And it really doesn't matter 
what your budget is, we just want you to buy wisely. And we never design spaces specifically for a piece of art. I truly believe all art is always in flux. Welcome to the first floor bar. This bar has everything. It's the perfect recipe for a fun evening. It's darker, so it's cozier. It has a growing vault ceiling, some depth to it, and you can see the variation in the gray and the plaster in the ceiling. This is the bar that I found inspiration in Amsterdam for. And you can see everything has been custom cut for this bar. It's all reeded with this beautiful texture. We added a Waterworks custom cut backsplash. We have a wine fridge, we have drink refrigerators. So it is ready for the ultimate party. Everything has that kind of different, unique feel. We've got this iCat, which is a little unexpected. It's a little bolder than some of the other colors you see in the house. My rule of thumb is for powder baths, more and more and more, you can never have enough layers. This is an Elatisse wallpaper. It is actually a fabric, and the fabric is a pleated fabric, so it has a texture. Antique Venetian light fixture, an antique mirror. Then we have a custom cut marble floor. As we go into the great room, this is the back half of the house, right off the bar. And one of my favorite features that the architect came up with is to have these little ingle nook spaces, which is something you see typically in English tutors. It is so cool draws attention during parties. We have a massive space for you to sit in, but then on the other side of this space, we've created a more intimate seating arrangement with four chairs and a large ottoman. And all of this feeds into our kitchen back here. This kitchen is obviously a white kitchen with beautiful white marble countertops. This is all a custom cut, water jet cut backsplash. And then in this kitchen, we have multiple dishwashers because of the fact that this client loves to entertain. We have one on each side of the sink. We have all Sub-Zero products, two sinks. This sink's ideal because it's right behind your stove should you need it for anything. I love a white kitchen because it's a color that's never gonna go out of style. It's not gonna be trendy and it's always gonna look clean and fresh. When you have a large kitchen, everything is bigger. We have bigger bar stools. We have a much larger light fixture. We are able to hand select all of our finishes. We were also able to scale the fixture to be the exact size we wanted for the space. The kitchen opens up to their morning room. This is where the family spends the majority of their time. They eat most of their meals as a family right here at this table. In the mornings or in the afternoons, you can always find them sitting in these chairs, hanging out, catching up. The catering kitchen was one of our favorite places to design. Um, we worked with their personal caterer and they gave us a list of the equipment that they needed to throw the ideal party. And then we took it to the next level. We still wanted it to be a beautiful space, so we designed these custom brass shelves and we did waterworks tile on the back and it covers all the walls in the entire space. So we joke that they can, you know, throw spaghetti sauce on the walls and we're not worried about it. Additionally, when we were working with the caterer, we went to different um, commercial kitchen supplies and we picked out all of the dishes and the serving trays and everything so nothing is ever served on anything that we haven't selected for any party in this house. In here we have a ton of refrigeration. We also have this really cool feature and it has trays just stacked. With these trays are used when they're making small past hors d'oeuvres and they keep them all in here and then they open them up and they set them on some of whichever tray they're using that night to serve them for parties. You will notice there's no um, dishwasher or anything for cleaning in here. All of that is housed in the garage so we keep all of the dirty during a party outside of the house. We call this area the basement bar. As you can see, it's a lot more than just a bar. We have a seating area with a large TV to watch sports. We have a table for games. And lastly, we have a very large walk-in wine cellar right here. The leather you see on these chairs here is extremely unique and very reminiscent of a Bottega bag. It's all hand-woven. 
The ceiling has again the growing vault and all the walls are the Venetian plaster in here as well. We recently wallpapered the entire area in this gorgeous Philip Jeffries grass cloth. Honestly, it really cozies up this space. This is a very large space as you can see and it adds just one more layer of texture down here. One thing we're getting more requests for are golf simulator rooms. They're super fun. They're interactive for a family or for friends. In this particular one, we have a Brent Wadden. We've also put plexiglass in front of it in case your golf club goes the wrong direction. <laughs> we did custom marble high tops in here in case someone wants a front row seat to the latest golf game. The best part about a golf simulator room is you can do it in heels. The exterior is truly an extension of the home. The kids can run out of the pool house and jump in the pool. For the outdoor furniture, we have used all Janus at sea. We've got Shays lounges, we've got an awesome fire pit with multiple chairs around it. We have two seating areas on either side here, as well as a seating area by the putting green. The pool house has huge sliding doors that we open on a regular basis and it allows parties to flow inside and outside. There's a shuffleboard table in there for the kids. A lot of times the adults play on it too. Um, we have a big storage closet in there which has actually been very helpful. That's where we keep a lot of the pool toys so that they're not always out and about. Um, and a wonderful kitchen bar area. So when there is a big party, you can easily put a bartender behind it and it's a great space. We did add a small seating area right off the kitchen for the family primarily to use. There's a grill and they can all hang out as a family here. This was a sport court and their son, who is now in first grade, absolutely adores basketball as well. So this is kind of their little play area. The covered patio presented some challenges. This is an extremely large space, but we wanted dining areas. So what we did is we created two dining tables, one for when it's just the family, and a second one for when they have guests over as well. The end result for us was we created a very cozy, comfortable family home in a very large space. When people come, they always say, oh, it's just so comfortable and enjoyable and not too fancy that you don't want to sit down and have a glass of wine and catch up with someone.